Talking about other public figures who people seem to hate to love, Jordan Peterson. My guy, Jordan Peterson, a person who I went to go see lecture once when he was first kind of coming to prominence. I bought the, um, what's, what's that thing called? What's that fucking book called? Uh, 12 Rules for Life. I bought that. That was really informative. I thought a really refreshing read. I thought in general, his, you know, opinions and thoughts and ideas around culture, around, uh, you know, family, around religion, around personal responsibility was super interesting. I didn't really care about the culture war stuff. I kind of kept away from that, but just stuff about equipping young men, especially um, with the tools necessary to navigate life and to be the best friend, husband, role model, brother, whatever it may be, was really, really, I think, beneficial. But then for whatever reason, he's gone off the deep end. Maybe it's to do with his you know, health struggles that he's had. Um, he went through some really really terrible benzo issues and whatnot but he hasn't come out of it from the other side the same person clearly not there's clearly something you know has changed with him over the years but one thing that hasn't changed that's always been something that's kind of been his achilles heel has been his addiction to social media and i think he's admitted it on the on various appearances on joe rogan in a kind of roundabout way because joe rogan's also on the opposite side of things where he basically says he doesn't check social media at all he just posts and ghosts which makes sense considering the level of fame that he has and the amount of followers he has and the amount of people who want to interact with him probably a lot you know in general day to day you don't need that many people online as well kind of giving you their thoughts and opinions and also in order to formulate your own ideas you kind of need to just not listen to what everyone else says so that makes sense but for every reason for whatever reason, Jordan Peterson just can't let go of Twitter. He's on that bitch all the time. And he seems to jump in and he seems to do this thing that I really get annoyed by, where he seems to kind of purposely goad people into a reaction. Like he'll jump into a really hot, bu hot button topic and say something very stern, very like, here's my line in the sand, which is clearly going to um, elicit a reaction, especially for the people on the hardcore left, you would say, right? And they're going to go after him and attack him because they hate him and they think he's a reincarnation of Mussolini. And then he'll get really annoyed and start crying online about how people are vicious and they're bullying him and all this sort of stuff and the attacks and stuff. It's like, no, you know what the deal is. You know what the climate is. You know what you're, you're working with. Just keep it moving. And he wouldn't. He just kept on doing this. Sort of thing. And recently he did it again when he shared his opinion that no one asked for about a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model who happened to be a little bit, you know, a little bit on the plus model size, but it's standard protocol with most magazines nowadays. They do go out of their way to try and be representative of, you know, the population at large. And they do go out of their way to try and maybe rewrite some social norms or whatnot around what beauty is and all that stuff, whatever, you know what I mean. It's not a big deal to see like a big person on the magazine cover as it was maybe a few years ago. And it's not something to really kind of, you know, get online and start having arguments with people about back and forth. It doesn't really matter to, to some certain extent. But for a reason, Joe Peterson got himself involved to the point where he got attacked to the point where now he's deciding to quit you quit Twitter in general and take a break from it, which I think is only beneficial, but it might be too late from now. This is Kirsty Daily Mail. It says anti work Canadian psychologist Dr. Jordan Peterson quits Twitter after being bombarded with a vicious flood of insults for saying plus size sports trade model Yumi Nu is not beautiful. And again, he wasn't tagged in it. He's got nothing to do with the sports to trade thing. He just gets involved, then starts crying. People attack him. Nonsense stuff, man. Controversial Canadian da -da -da, has quit Twitter after coming um, under furious fire for saying that a plus size Sports Illustrated swimsuit cover model is not beautiful. Peterson59, who is famous for his stances against political correctness and woke ideologies, shared his views on the magazine's latest cover star, Yumi New, on Twitter on Monday, posting a a image of the 25 year old curvy model shoot while writing sorry not beautiful right just unnecessary just being mean for the sake of being mean we don't need to hear it from especially not from him too you've already earned your flipping outrage bucks already let somebody else who's new in the game you know do it and kind of get their little rocks off and become viral you don't need this sort of like hate it doesn't or attention it's just i don't know i don't know what's wrong with that guy within seconds of posting this tweet peterson a clinical psychologist who should know better an author and a former professor at the university of toronto was met with a flurry of criticism from other users many of whom began taking aim at his own appearance true well others labeled him a ass and a freak crazy insults um obviously this is the tweet itself 
they post the image of the cover star there's a lady looking voluptuous and whatnot in the bikini even if you don't like it it's not that worth getting involved in you just scroll and keep it moving he decided to put a quote marks underneath it with the image there and say sorry dot for not beautiful dot no amount of authoritarian tolerance is going to change that authoritarian tolerance no one is telling you to to flip in lick her toes mate it's just a magazine cover relax um obviously there she is posing in the thing looking good i think it says here continues and someone says, I guess in the comments, my guy, you look like a child's skeleton cover in covered in mayonnaise with dry with dry lint on the top. You're in no position to be assessing anybody's beauty, you rickety junkie. One person fired back at Pearson, who is the author of the international best-selling book, Top Rules for Life. <laughs> they call him a rickety, a rickety flipping, um, what is it? A rickety junkie who looks like a child's skeleton covered in mayonnaise with dry and lint on the top. <laughs> Such a specific read. Others flipped the script by copying words from the psychologist's tweet and uh, repurposing them for him. Initially, Peterson stuck to his guns, firing back at, pan at Pandora's and insisting that the decision to feature a plus-size woman on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit was a conscious and cynical manipulation by a oh-so-virtuous, politically correct uh, people, I guess. But who cares if it was, man, really? It's not, it's not big bother. Anyway, it continues. In another tweet, he added, it's a conscious progressive attempt to manipulate and retool the notion of beauty, relying on the idiot physiology, uh, uh, philosophy, sorry, that such preferences are learned and properly changed by those who know better. This isn't really an issue that men should be involved in. There's a larger thing to be said about how dangerous and toxic the beauty standards are, especially nowadays, because most of the people who are in power positions who really influence culture, one of them being the Kardashians, are really the ones who are at fault for this kind of warped sense of self-worth that women seem to have nowadays, um, especially young girls growing up where they think they are not beautiful enough just the way that they are born and they need to have this done, that done, that done. And most of it comes from obviously the beauty industry the fashion industry but a lot of it does come from these influencers these people in media these people in culture like the kardashians who perpetuate this image of what a beautiful woman's meant to look like and then all these other girls around the world who maybe aren't blessed um genetically as much as they are or don't have conventional western beauty genes in them that maybe would make them appealing are now kind of scrap you know struggling to feel good about themselves it's already difficult and again most of it is a, is a woman issue it's a woman on woman thing but it's not nothing i should be involved in and get him poking my nose into and it's definitely not something that somebody who's unsourceless who's lacking in sources jordan peterson should be getting involved in you know I mean just allow it man it's nothing to just let them let the women do their thing in it um it continues here However, after he continued to be bombarded with what he described as a vicious flood of insults, Peterson called it quits, announcing that he was departing Twitter while branding a social media platform in in intrinsically and dangerously insane. But you're insane as well for you being on there, brother. And also, if I'm not mistaken, when he announced it, he ended up going on a tweet rant of like 30 or some tweets in like six hours, just firing him off. So he clearly wasn't leaving. Uh, but now I think, uh, the last time I checked, it clearly looks like he's gone through and deleted all of his tweets and they're now using his Twitter account as just like a place to just repost stuff about his book, post announcements about his lectures and stuff. It's turned into like a brand thing, which is, I think, probably beneficial for him in general and, you know, his mental health and whatnot. It continues here, it says, um, the endless flood of vicious insults is really not something that can be experienced anywhere else, he wrote. I like to follow the people I know that I think the incentive structure, the incentive structure of the platform makes it intrinsically and dangerously insane. He continued, so I told my staff to change my password to keep me from temptation and I'm departing once again. Whenever someone says that, I'm deleting the app, I'm changing my password, that just shows somebody that's lacking in any, 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 any ability to be, um, what's that word called? to have any self-discipline, to have any willpower, you're lacking it, which means you're also going to break it fairly soon. And, you know, he obviously he did, he went on the 30 tweet rant after the fact. If I have something to say, I'll write an article or make a video. If the issue is not important enough to justify that, then perhaps it would be best just to let it go. Yes, please, Jordan. Yes, please. Despite his insistence that he was departing Twitter, Peterson's account remains active and he continued to tweet even after claiming that he was ex editing the, the social media site. However, he hinted that he will take he will take the, his opinions elsewhere in the near future, writing, okay, I plan to write an article on the technical reasons that Twitter is maddening. Nah, don't now start talking about why Twitter's broken, mate. You're broken too for being on there. We're all broken. Just enjoy the memes and laugh at what you need to laugh at or just keep it moving. 
I plan to write an article on the technical reasons Twitter is Twitter, sorry, is maddening um, us all very soon. Bye for now. Pearson proposed departure from Twitter comes just weeks after he quit the platform for the first time. He explained that he felt genuine relief during the three weeks that he spent away from social media site, <laughs> and that he believes his life got worse against uh, or, uh, against almost instantly following his decision to rejoin. This is really interesting because he's an incredibly intelligent person. He probably has a very, very high IQ, clearly somebody who thinks very deeply about things. I think he's an excellent writer, a great orator, even though he's got that really funny Kermit the Frog voice. Clearly somebody who people should be listening to and paying attention to. But on the same token, he's also weirdly addicted to Twitter, like in a really insane way, to the point where he's being rattled online by people because of things that he's tried to rattle people about and then he's trying to play victim. The same thing that he kind of goes at the left for and calls them snowflakes is what he's basically doing. He's being a snowflake. And it's crazy to see because, you know, very accomplished person, someone very smart. You imagine they would know better. But, you know, social media addiction knows no color, creed, age, race, level of intelligence, wealth. It doesn't know anything. If it gets you, it gets you like in a big way and Jordan Peterson got got by flipping Twitter boy so let's see how long it keeps it up he's saying he's gonna stop it and not be on there for a while but I doubt it 